Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church in Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, March 3rd. Time's flying by, isn't it? So, um, this week, today from 9.30 to 1.30, and tomorrow from 9.30 to 1.30, you can come in and pick up your elements um, for communion, if you're one of those who, who washes, watches communion from home. Uh, you can also pick up a copy of the um, daily devotional, which we've provided. Uh, we ask one per family only, please. And, um, and I hope we'll see many more of you come, beginning to come to church now that the numbers are coming down. More about that later. This, sun, this Sunday is the first Sunday of Lent. Uh, at 9 o'clock is the uh, Bible study, adult Bible study in the parish house. Church service will be, um, will be live streamed as usual. We're going to continue wearing masks for a little while longer, but again, more about that in a minute. On Tuesday, March 8th, is International Women's Day. At 6.30 to 9, the Sauhegan Valley Chorus will be rehearsing in the church. Wednesday, March 9th, from 6.30 to 7.30 in the parish house will be a Lenten Bible study. If there's enough interest, we could always set up the Bible study on a Zoom, Zoom effect and do it that way, but there would have to be enough interest to do that. On Thursday, March 10th, I will be conducting a worship service at 10 o'clock in the morning at the Bedford Falls Assisted Living Facility. Um, at 12, from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock, Cindy DeAndrea will be um, doing her, uh, Bible, her new Bible study in the parish house. And at 7.30 p.m., again, it's choir rehearsal. And next Sunday, March 13th, is daylight savings time. It seems like it's early this year, doesn't it? So the Easter flower order has been s submitted. Um, but if you didn't make it, you didn't... Um, place an order for flowers, you can still make a donation to the church in memory of someone or in honor of someone, um, and, and we hope you'll consider that. So, about the masks. I have been following the New Hampshire Department of Public Health and, um, and UNH's website. I've been following the numbers on the co of COVID. Um, right now, at this moment, we're right about 5%. If we get hold at 5% or get a little bit below 5%, and I explained this to the deacons on uh, Tuesday night, um, if we get below 5% for a week or more, we will remove the mask mandate, and we will start talking about doing things like coffee hour again. Um, I know I miss the fellowship of coffee hour, and we, we'll have to change how we do things just a little bit. Um, we'll have to make some, make some concessions so we don't have any... Um, so we don't have any cross-contamination. But if the numbers keep going down the way they're going, I think we're going to be able to get back together. And we might even be able to take down the blue tape. So I know that bothers a few people. But, but we will still have to use a little bit of common sense and have to make sure that we, that we keep our proper distances and all of that. You know, hand washing, hand washing should be something we all do anyway. So um, I'm encouraged by the numbers. Um, as, of, as of right now, we're at 5%. I believe, it, <clears throat> when I looked at it a little while ago, I believe it was 5.2%. So, um, but that's, that's where we stand on the COVID numbers. Now, David and Hermie Sears have announced that they will be retiring on June 5th. They don't want to make a big deal about it, but they're, they're planning on retiring. Um, we are forming a search committee for a new minister of music. I have already placed ads in the New Hampshire Conference website and on the National Conference website, and I will be placing an ad in the American Guild of Organists. I've also sent emails to several friends of mine who are music educators uh, at, at the college level uh, to see if we can't garner some interest. But um, if you're interested in serving on that committee, and you don't have to be a deacon, you don't have to be in a, a church officer or anything, if you want to serve on that search committee for the Minister of Music, please get in touch with me or Carol and let us know. 
Um, and this is one of those situations where we'd like to have a wide variety of opinions so that when we interview people and when we listen to them play, we can, we can you know, look at, look at what's available out there. So, as, as usual, there's a lot going on. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. And Lord, we ask that you reach out your healing, peaceful hand to those people in, in harm's way in Ukraine. Guide them and guide the leaders of both nations to paths of peace. In your holy name we pray. Amen. So during this time, this difficult time for the people of Ukraine, please keep them in your prayers. Please keep them in your hearts. And please, take good care of each other. Take good care of yourselves. And until we meet again, God bless.